My name is Jack Chibetet, and I work with the youth here in the Diocese of Harare, among different other ministries. The Diocese of Harare has suffered a lot of persecution in the last few years, and this was due to a different, different ideologies that came from people who were leading the church at that particular time. In that time, we got more acquainted to the beatitude, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Indeed, we were persecuted because we were chased out of our churches. We couldn't worship where we usually worship. And even at Bernard Mzeki Shrine, we were not able to go there to worship. But what happened in the diocese at that particular time is we grew in faith, we grew in, in determination, and we even grew in stature in terms of knowing how to do things in the Church of God. So our example of our persecution is one such that tells you that one will not only grow inside a building, but one will grow even going through tough times. Today, the church has now stabilized and we are now running different other programs. The young people, the young people are so zealous to find the Lord, to know how to worship, to enjoy themselves in the presence of the Lord, but also following our Eucharistic and liturgical programs. So what we want to achieve in this particular time is to achieve growth and to achieve maturity and to, to achieve a number of objectives that the diocese has set for us to achieve. St. Peter's Melbourne is the link parish to St. Paul's Rustall. Now, the Link Parishes have done a lot of exchange programs. I'm also a, a participant in these exchange programs, having come to Rustall for a few months as an internship. And also a lot of other people have visited this parish from Rustall. In our times of struggle, we have gotten a lot of assistance from both um, the Link dioceses, And we have kept in contact, in prayer, and doing things in communion with, with each other. It is healthy to have these links, especially in our time of persecution, where we had a lot of, of, of problems and challenges, and we needed even the moral support. We are experiencing a transformation in the church, where even in this time, where we are going towards Easter, we are believing that God is touching different individuals in different ways. May we continue to grow in this way, May we continue to do the things that we are doing for the Lord, but more so for the young people that I work with. It is a challenge for them to continue in a world that is becoming so secularized. There are so many temptations around everything that they do, but the Diocese of Harare has managed to come up with programs, conferences, workshops, and things that keeps them in check. This is the time that we are going through. Thank you.